Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and today we are reacting to the true cost of US healthcare. Now, I've heard some horror stories, but I've also heard some stories that make sense to me and I'll explain myself a little bit before we get into the video. Now, I've always heard that the medical system in America is a bit screwed because you always have to pay a load of money. But from what you guys have commented on a couple of my other videos and sort of educated me in is that if you have insurance you should be okay the costs aren't as high if anything i'm not sure how it works now i know how it works here for us in slovakia to a point i've never had any major procedures done i do have an operation coming up in the next few months um but that i think that should be covered i'm not sure so what we do here is we've got a medical insurance that we have to pay into every month now this gives us access to if i go to the gp for example like the doctor's I'm sick, I go to the doctors, that's covered. I don't have to pay anything. I do have to pay for my prescription though, my prescription, but it's not a lot of money. I think the last prescription I had, I think it was like 12 euros or something silly like that. And it was the same in the UK. I paid national insurance and then I could, I had access to healthcare, but then it was free healthcare and then the cost, yeah, but I still had to pay prescriptions. I'm not a very sickly person. Uh, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. Um, so I've never had any major procedures done, so I don't know how that all works, but I'm hoping this video will let me know a bit more about the American health system because when we come on holiday, I need to get health insurance, but that's quite normal for me to do anyway because if we were traveling from the UK to somewhere in Europe or we travel here from Slovakia to somewhere in Europe, I'm going to get travel insurance that has medical as well because I don't need any dramas. I'd like the peace of mind that if something bad were to happen and we were to go to the hospital, we were, we were covered, you know. I don't want to put myself in a bad situation or any of my family in a bad situation because I wasn't prepared. So I think it's logic really. Now I know that the unemployment or insurance cost can be pricey, I, but I don't know a lot about it. So I'm hoping this video opens my eyes a little bit. Anyway, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra frisky, you may as well hit the like button as well. And without further ado, let's get into the true costs of healthcare, US healthcare. Ambulance call out, how much do you think that costs? Zero payment. Zero payment? Yeah, zero payment. No. It <laughs> costs two and a half thousand dollars. For real? Yeah. Two and a half thousand dollars for an ambulance call out. Now, is that if you've got insurance or does insurance not cover that? Please, guys, I'm really trying not to be ignorant. I'm asking for you to your feedback. I have been in an ambulance. Uh, I had massive chest pains and in the UK that was covered. No. Because two and a half thousand dollars. For real? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. You look, you look. <laughs> An inhaler. $100. Yeah, you're pretty close. It's a bit more. 120 250 to 350 For an inhaler? Mm. <sighs> See, this video, okay, it's called The True Cost of Healthcare Shocks the British Public, but is this covering if people have insurance? So if you're poor, you're dead. I know that it's like public healthcare in the UK. In the US, fortunately, I'm able to get health care through my parents, their jobs, but like I carry an EpiPen and I know that like the cost of that has just been rising. Mm -hmm. So like there's like very few companies that even compete. So it's sort of like a monopoly for the EpiPen. Um, even though like we have insurance, it costs my parents about a couple hundred, even with insurance. Oh, okay. So two EpiPens, how much do you reckon they are? $80. 600 <laughs> So that's with insurance. Holy smokes. What about without insurance? That's really expensive. Holy crap. Right now. More? More? $100. More. $150. $250. More. $250? You're British. $250. £300. $600. That's a very good question. $600? For me, it's more like just hives and shortness of breath. Yeah. So it wouldn't be like an immediate death situation, but like, so I've been fortunate I've not had to use it, mm. but it's something like keep on me. Like I have my backpack right now, I have it on me. Cost of childbirth. Jesus. Uh, Cost of childbirth. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to know. I reckon 1,500. 1,500. Um, yeah, see, I've, I've, blown, I've blown the figures up on your head now, haven't yeah, I? Because yeah. they're larger. It's the highest, generally speaking, is about thirty grand. Oh, okay. Oh, is that reasonable? You have not reasonable that? at all. Thirty grand. Oh my gosh. 
30 grand. So I would be 60 grand out of pocket with my two kids. And then you still got to support them <laughs> for 18 plus years. Holy smoke. <laughs> just like now we're on like a, we're on a yeah, benchmark. Yeah, we're on a... 100, 200. Uh, the average is about 10 grand. It can go up to 30,000. Oh, so the average is 10 grand. For a baby. Well, <laughs> yeah, well I guess. <laughs> How much is your child worth? Uh, yeah. Is that like the same everywhere? You know, the average is about ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay, so you blew it up on the first clip. Oh no, thanks. <laughs> um, okay, no thanks. In which case, the coil IUD contraception. Yeah. How much do you think that costs? For one person yeah. to implant. A grand. Yeah, a little bit higher. Really? Yeah. Jesus. One thousand three hundred dollars. Oh. Mental. I wonder if you could tell me how expensive you think calling an ambulance out to your location is. Yeah in America. I guess it depends on like where you live. Uh, it really does. Um, I can't even, is there a price for that? Yes. Jeez, um, $100, $200? grand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> two and a half grand, I can tell you something now. My missus, if I'm like, uh, 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 and she's like, oh, two and a half grand. Now, we'll see how you are in the morning, and then we'll drive you to the hospital. Holy crap. Why? Give birth by C-section and you would like to hold your baby after you've given birth to it. Actually, yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, you'd pay to do that? Yes. To hold my own child that I've been carrying inside of my womb. Yes, I <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was. <laughs> uh, but yes, yes. Jeez. Well, actually, it's very expensive. Right. <laughs> Charging me, I'm going to punch you. Yeah. Um, not you, but yeah. the doctor. Um, like a hundred dollars. Forty dollars. $40. Or skin on skin contact. <laughs> what do you think of the NHS? How the hell do they charge for that? That's crazy to me. The, the, the skin on skin thing. But like, I think this guy's going to the extremes, in my opinion. I mean, okay, it's expensive, but I bet you the level of care is pretty high. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's pretty scary, though. I'm going to have to get some pretty rock solid insurance. so dumb for taking advantage of it and I don't want it to change. It's fine, does it make you grateful for the NHS? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I didn't know how much uh, free healthcare we got like just off of that, but like, you know, you have to pay like 30 grand for a child. It's outrageous, it really is ridiculous. So thank you NHS uh, for all your hard work. I'm genuinely speechless. But presumably you had an idea that it, healthcare was expensive in the US. I didn't realize how expensive. Yeah, I'm the NHS are amazing. Don't get me wrong. Like I was looked after so well that the thing that annoys me with the NHS in the UK is like when you go to the emergency room, I nearly sliced my finger off and I was sitting there in A&E for hours, for hours. And there's people who've come in there, they've, they've twisted their ankle or for nothing. If you, there should be someone paid in the NHS to stand there and decide whether it's urgent or not and then if you if you're coming there for a sniffle and you've come to the emergency room get the f out of here let the people who are really ill like because sometimes it's a piss take i've been to a and e a few times and it's yeah if you don't have money you're yeah you're screwed budged. yeah what do you think of the people who are profiting off the sale of these medicines you bastards i <laughs> Sorry, beep. I think, yeah, I, I think they should be stopped. Fuck Trump. <laughs> <sighs> I think, I don't think I have the right to get involved or say anything. Yes, it, it's expensive. And if people are dying because they cannot afford the care that they need, then there's issues that the government and other people need to look into. But us being the intelligent beings that we are, know that the government have our best interest at the furthest part of their mind. It's all about that. That's that's it at the end of the day. And the sooner you come to realize that the government is not there to help you, the easier you sleep at night. Um, that's the way I deal with it anyway. I don't watch the news. I don't want to know what's going on because at the end of the day, they don't give a crap about me. I will never vote. I don't get. I don't care about that. I'm on, I'm living on my own path now. I'm not. I'm probably going too far into politics because I said I would never go into that sort of thing on this channel and I hope to remain that way. But yeah, holy smoke. Some of those costs are, are pretty scary. Um, it makes me nervous to come on holiday there, especially with 
two children who like, especially my son, who's a bit adventurous and he likes to get himself in in pickles as, as often as he can, to be honest with you. The amount of times he's come home limping and crying because he's, I try to do this and I landed on my head. I'm like, yeah, mate, you got to be careful. You're going to snap your neck one day. And he's a boy. He's a tough lad and I can't stop him from living his life. I mean, I can guide him as much as I can. But at the end of the day, when I was a kid, I was injured every other week. So I'm, I'm letting him live his best life as safe as he can. And no, I'm not. I'm not putting his life in jeopardy, but yeah, I'm waffling now. Um, it's something I really need to consider. I really need to research uh, before our plans go any further, really, because I don't have 30 grand lying around to pay for medical fees or anything if something does happen. Um, yeah, it's quite scary. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And hopefully next week I can start using my new laptop. I'm just finishing off a few things and we can get better videos. And I'm so excited. I'm so happy that I got this laptop. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And I'm going to lean forward with my neck and back. Have a great one. Peace. Oh, you bastard.